Okay guys, I'm Priest. Welcome to the first the debut episode of Addendum 13. It's not much, it's not much, you know, small beginnings. What's that saying? From humble beginnings comes mediocrity? Anyway, this site, this page is going to be dedicated to game reviews, um, g g giving the gamer what the gamer needs. I am so sick of, of, of review sites and, and, and reviewers feeding their egos. It's more about their opinion than it is about the actual product. And that is why I decided to kick this, th this whole thing off with this. The Caliber 11 Vault. Why the Vault? I'll tell you why the Vault. Because I... I've been working on getting getting this going for a long time, but the other day I'm, I'm standing around in a store, I, I see it, I knew about it, and all I wanted was some legitimate information. What is it? What's the deal about it? First time, the first thing that came to my mind was, will it make my Xbox melt? As we know... Any kinds of, of, of bonding accessories, cooling fans and whatnot, have a, a, a long-standing history of, of bad results. So I go onto YouTube and I start searching and all I see is a bunch of videos about people showing it off. Hey, look, I got it. It's really cool. Look, I own it. I bet you wish you had it, don't you? But you don't. I do. Uh, and then on top of that, all I saw was a bunch of forums and, and, and discussion pages uh, asking questions to, with no answer. So, here's the answers. Caliber 11 Vault. This is the Gears of War 3, as you see the LEDs. Uh, w one thing I'd like to stomp right away is there is no cooling fan. It's a rumor, it's all over the web, there is no cooling fan. The, the, the box itself is designed almost to be a cooling fan. Uh, it lifts the Xbox or the PlayStation up off the ground. You get airflow underneath. There are vents underneath as well. The, uh, the vent fans on the side are open. It allows for good airflow. I was concerned about it when I first put it on. A lot of people are out there. I've noticed my Xbox temperature ha has dropped I at least 60% from when I was running it horizontal on a surface. Now, these retail at about $89.99. Now, that doesn't just go for this. Right now, they have uh, three variant vaults for Xbox. The MLG vault, the Battlefield 3 vault, and the Gears of War 3 vault. The PS3, on the other hand only has the um, Battlefield 3 casing. Now they do offer uh, a, a, a wide variety of just base vaults. That means no Gears of War, no Battlefield, no game licensing whatsoever. It's just going to be green with a white base. You can pick your colors, da da da. Now as you also see here at the front, you have these three holes this, you can go on there, go to customization on the, uh, the caliber11.com website, and you can pick a, um, to, to make a custom nameplate. $17.95, I believe, don't hold me to that, uh, but around $18, you can get a custom nameplate, it can have, you know, bullet casings, or, uh, you know, a, a skull and crossbones in your name, gamer tag, catchphrase, whatever you want. You know, whatever you need to make yourself feel better when you turn on, you know, look at your Xbox. You know, I don't know, like, happy thoughts or I, I, I know I'm going to suck on Call of Duty tonight. You know, whatever. Um, now, this particular vault is, is, I've had some trouble with the LEDs and whatnot. Some people have. There's actually a microphone Underneath uh, what you see here is the Coalition of Governments uh, infected uh, cog symbol here for Gears 3. There's actually a microphone underneath and the LEDs are uh, they're interactive. They light up on audio cues and whatnot. Um, on this side, not sure how well you can see it, there is uh, 
a little controller hook here that I don't really use. Seems a little bit overly complicated when I can I can just you know. But there you have that. Now if you go on to the Caliber 11 website, they got a real nice page. You can see here they got some videos up that 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 kind of kind of go over the vault music by Kush. I have no idea who Kush is, but you know. The, the the custom vaults retail for about eighty nine ninety nine. Now the the base vaults, just the the colors and da da da, run about fifty nine ninety five. They're all really the same. It just just depends on how how fancy you want it. Set this here. Now, simple reality is, if you got the money to throw around, if you got the money to waste, go for it. Personally, go for the base vaults. They're going to give you the cooling effects. They're going to give you the nice look. Get a nameplate on top of it. $59.95 plus $17.95. You're still coming out cheaper than you would if you dropped the money on something licensed to a major franchise. But... They do not have a cooling fan, they keep your box cool regardless, completely secure vertical standing, it's not going to tip over. Um, make your own judgment, make your own judgment. Do you, are, are you a hardcore gamer and you really want to add a little flair to, to your game room or whatnot? If so... This might be for you. Go to the website, Caliber11.com. These are being retailed uh, through certain Best Buy locations now. GameStop has not picked them up yet, as far as I know. But on the website also, they have a full listing of retail locations. So there you have it. Caliber11, The Vaults. Check them out. And I think that's going to just about do it. Now, in the future... Things are going to get a little bit more complicated around here. We're going to do some game reviews. Got the big screen. We're going to do uh, m more and more reviews on, on products and accessories. Coming up in the next episode will be these. Not necessarily specifically these, but Turtle Beaches in general. And somewhere down the road... You're going to be seeing website, da-da-da, a lot more coming. But I think that's going to just about do it for this one. And I am going to go get on Modern Warfare 3 and die a lot. So remember, from Priest, everybody at Addendum 13, you don't have to be the best. You just have to hope the other guy drops his controller.